Hey, welcome back to Snapple Games. My name is Max, and I'm back with another Popper League, and I'm going to be playing Hot Dogs again. I just played this league, or this deck, through a league on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go to the channel. Not only check out that league, you're going to want to check out the first league with the deck. Uh, we made just a couple changes since that league, but that was a really fun one. And subscribe to the channel. It's really the best way to support me. Again, youtube.com slash snapbolt. I record all my leagues live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash games. So come hang out live, a lot of fun. And I'm going to just go through a quick deck tech, and then we're going to get into some games. I have a another detailed deck tech with my dog, Lewin, uh, in the other video, so you can check that out. This is just a Kiln Fiend deck. It's mono red. You play Kiln Fiend, Festival Crasher, Swiss Spear as your threats, and then you just try to play a bunch of spells. You have some interaction with like Bolt, Dart, some protection with Mutagenic Blessing, and then some card draw with like Crash Through, Reckless Impulse, and then Mana Morphos, Free Cycler, and TBR. Really straightforward deck. The only change we made is cutting some Affinity Hate from the sideboard um, to make room for Triple Brute Force. It was actually suggested by somebody in chat, and I think it's actually a really... Uh, good change. I couldn't think of any sideboard tech for like the burn matchup or the mirror, but brute force seems really good because it's another protection spell that also helps close out the game quickly. So it seems like exactly what you want to go like turn three kill and feed with brute force up seems really strong. Uh, so trying a couple of those, I just cut one smash, one shaman. I also cut double martyr and went up to three cannonades just because martyr seems like a pretty bad card to me, honestly. Seems better just to have cannonade. So we're going to try that. And without further ado, let's get right into round one. All right. Welcome to round one. We're against MC Scards. Would you like to play first? I would. Sneep. Snap keep. Let's uh, hope we play a removal spell on one. Kill and Fiend on two. Maybe a turn three kill. Who knows? <laughs> Ten minutes. Yeah. Uh-oh. Blue, they could have Hydros. Probably not game one though. Let's just jam. Let's not be scared. <laughs> I, if they just hydroed that, honestly, I wouldn't be that. I wouldn't be that surprised. I'd be like, okay. Brainstorm into Fairy Seer. Do they not have another land? Brainstorm worse than Ponder. Can I get a one time? No, they have an island. Oh my god! But we have Dart. I think I'm going to go play Swiss Spear. I guess I should... It's just so tempting to lead on Dart because they, they could have Mutagenic. I could always... Let's see, let's see. Can't kill, right? Yeah, they can't have spells better. That costs two mana. They could have Spell Pierce. They could have Dispel. They could have Mutagenic Growth. They might be at sixth, but I'm not sure. Swiss Spear into Dart is the best line if they have nothing. If they have Mutagenic Growth, that's pretty annoying. But can I really play around that? I think I'm just going to do this. Okay, they're F6. Well, that makes it easy. If they weren't F6, I could have um, played Lightning Bolt, but now I'll just attack for 6. Not going to flashback Dart. We're just in such a commanding position here, but we are going to have to fight through a lot of Hydros. Luckily, we have the Reckless Impulses here. I think I want to play it safe. What I can do is I can actually play around Spell Pierce somewhat by go to, going Float 2 mana and then Lava Dart the Hacker, or at least Float 1. And then I could potentially double Lightning Bolt 2. I think this is fine. I think that they're pretty dead to these bolts. Yeah, they just concede. Okay. We could have just gone bolt, bolt, and then attack and kill. Luckily, we still have the triple pyro. 
and we could bring in some cannonades. I don't know if we want all three. That seems like a lot. Mutagenic is also a lot worse because sure, it helps us go faster, but it doesn't save our stuff from removal. It doesn't play around hydro. I think we can pretty safely side it out, actually. What about side out like one Manamorphos too? Manamorphos is kind of worse. Um, against counters, it can be kind of awkward. Could do something like this, or side out double Manamorphos, keeping all the reckless impulses to try to grind through the hydros. That seems good. I guess I guess I like signing out some TBRs because they're going to bring in more interaction. We don't necessarily need TBR to win, and that's kind of similar to Ancestral Anger where it makes you go more all in. And now we have triple Cannonade. This seems good to me. Just less TBRs, less all in, play more of a controlling game with Cannonade and Pyro and all these removal spells. Don't need mutagenic, just going a little bit slower here. I like it. Okay, well, zero lands, zero lands, one land, but double dart. Just put back these, I guess I'll put back this TBR and a blessing. Definitely keeping this on five. Just gonna dart this on my turn. Don't want to get spell stuttered or anything. I can hear Loon with the zoomies just running around right now. Ooh, they're not mono blue. Okay, they're blue red. Thought they were definitely mono blue. I think that makes it worse for us. Maybe we want some number of mutagenics now. Probably just going to get bolted or shredded here. I guess the brainstorm means it was a lot less likely they were mono blue. I should have realized that. Hardcast Ninja? Okay. Land. I think I'm Manamorphos right now. I don't want to dart flashback dart, but I could consider it. I don't really want them to draw a card. It's probably a bad play, but I'll lead on Manamorphos regardless. Okay. Another land is interesting. I'm just going to play Kiln Fiend Attack for two. They have to kill this Kiln Fiend, and then next turn I can go Kiln Fiend with Blessing up, and then try to kill the turn after that. I think that's just the best line. They can, they'll, they get to draw an extra card. Nothing I can do about it. I mean, what I could have done about it was go dart, flashback, dart, but then next turn I'm just playing Kiln Fiend with nothing up rather than playing Kiln Fiend this turn and next turn. Also, I can potentially just go for the win right now, depending on what they do. Their draw seems pretty awkward. Spread. I could not attack with Swiss Spear because then I threaten to be able to block with Blessing on the Ninja. I'm gonna do that. We'll, we'll see if they count if they try to counter or something. Mm, they do. Now we're in a really bad spot actually. So now I'm just gonna go Dart Flashback Dart. They can't Hydro or Dispel because I have three darts total to work with. They could Hydro my Swiss Spear, but at least they won't get to draw any more extra cards now. 
You dispel it. Okay, well, I have more. I have plenty of lands here. Still in a pretty rough position, though. Don't get the blessing, protect my thing. But I got to kill their ninja. I got a counter and a dispel out of their hand. But if they go like Augur, hit counter spell here, or Hydro, it's going to be pretty rough. Just have to keep grinding. We have four Reckless Impulse in the deck. No Faithless Looting, so we don't need to hold any lands. Another Brainstorm. Definitely gets a lot tougher post board, that's for sure. Brainstorm, I expect bottom bottom. They do, because it's like a brainstorm shuffle. Could bolt this, but I think I wait. I could draw a lava dart. I think I'll just upkeep lightning bolt. Oh, they could have spells better. I could upkeep Morphos into bolt. I think I'm gonna do that. It's kind of a weird line. I guess maybe I should just Morphos right now. If I could just potentially play Kill and Fiend, although that gets spells better too. I'm just gonna upkeep just Bolt. Oh, missed it. Damn. I guess I'll just try to kill a Ninja now. I just kind of misclicked there. Okay, they don't have it. I'll just wait. Reckless Impulse, Kiln Fiend, Crasher, Spell Stutter Sprite. I'm going to try to bolt it. Spell Pierce got wrecked. Now, if they have a ninja, it's going to be real, real rough. They don't. Good. Okay. Another spell stutter? Yes. Keep trying here. We're likely dead, but no reason to concede. Okay. No third spell stutter, please. Ooh, cannonade for next turn plus dart. And it can be played till the end of my next turn. I guess I just don't need to do anything. I can just, on my turn, go for Cannonade. I can take three. I don't need to dart anything, I don't think. I'll just go for Cannonade on my turn. And we drew the pyro, wow. That was one reason to dart last turn, but. Wow. Okay, we're in this. 12 to nine, we have a pyro. They have cantrips though. <laughs> cantrips are good. They played a land. Play a land because we could draw more reckless impulses. They're really not doing much. I'll protect this. They play a removal spell. Dart is just so good in this matchup. Hard cast ninja. Might as well just let it resolve. Another blessing. Really don't want to go for just pyro on this. I think I can just pass the turn. I can't really attack into my Swiss spear.
Yeah, I think I'm in a, still in a pretty decent position. All right, I'm in a blessing here. I'm still not in range of double bolt, which is nice. I counter their ice so they don't get to draw a card. We don't have mutagenics in our deck anymore. I wanted to save Pyro to be able to fight on the stack with that. Hydro. I know they have two cards. Like their hand could be Bolt Bolt, but I'd rather use my Blessing and then save Pyro again to fight on the stack. Can't let them draw. Would have been interesting to Pyro the Ninja as well. They, st they can't even spell better because of Dart. Another Dart. All right. Let's go. Drew all four darts. Top 26 cards. Pretty nice. Hopefully they have like another spell pierce. Curfew. Kind of annoying, but they have zero cards left. I think I just go dart this, replace this fair attack for one. We're both top decking. Except I have a Swiss Spear out. I mean, they have a lot of lands, but it doesn't really matter. I don't need that many lands. No attack. Hopefully they like bolt this, I get to play Crasher. Maybe they top deck to land. They actually have a lot of mediocre top decks. We're at nine, we're at five. We have two cards in hand. One of them has to be a land. That could be like, we could have drawn land counter spell or spell pierce. Oh, let's go. They're at seven. This would be five damage if I pyroblast and nothing. Definitely not going for it. Hopefully we draw any spell to represent lethal with Pyroblast backup next turn. Seems like opponents top decked pretty terribly. Probably drawn multiple lands. Thought we were going to lose this game for sure, but the Pyroplasm. I'm going to go Kiln Fiend right now, because if they count, if they have a counter spell, they have to counter it, most likely. And then I get to Pyroblast. Although they could have a Cannonade. I think it's worth it to just go now because of Pyroblast. I can represent Lethal if they try to counter. Scred that. I'm going to just think for a second, even though I don't have anything. Just to be like, do I want to save it? No. Let it go. Then attack for one. And then still retain just Pyroblast. Obviously, I couldn't stop that. Another mountain, two cards in hand. Draw mountain. Still not going for it. I'm going for this. And they have spells that are okay. Good news is I'm still hitting them down to two. They don't jump, they have zero cards. Really close game here. We can draw Bolt for a win. They have Brainstorm. But Brainstorm is not Ponder. They don't have a shuffle effect. They might just be dead. No ninja, please. But ninja into non-removal spell. Oh, they did find a ninja. 
Oh man, not ninja into bolt. Not like this. Okay. It's probably our best draw after drawing a couple lands. Counter spell. So now they have to flash and spell better chump. And they're drawing the card they put third and then another card off ninja. And we go to one. They could also not attack. They're going for it. Ah, uh, they had both anyway. Or they drew they drew into it maybe. That was such a close game. Wow, that was a great game. Wonder if there's a turn I could have gone for it in one. Just felt like it wasn't worth it. I don't I doubt it. They had to have that spell setter like the whole time. Turn it back. Not even I don't want to bring in mutagenic, I don't think. Yeah, they played too many lands for sure. I didn't even really think about that. This hand is bad. I'm just gonna mulligan. All right, this hand's much, much better. We'll draw another land for sure. Probably just gonna bolt this. I don't wanna wait around till cannonade and have them like turn two ninja me and stuff. So probably just gonna go crash through bolt on turn two. We'll see what we crash through into here. Cairo, that might change things. I think I'm gonna go lightning bolt this, attack for two, leave up pyro because then I can just counter an auger. They haven't played an auger yet, but I assume they have it. I don't even know if I pyroblast this. I don't think I do. They could easily have a hydro or something else. Plus, I have this cannonade. They went top top. It's pretty scary. Lightning bolt. Okay. Anamorphos. Rainstorm. Just gonna let just gonna let it resolve. I'm not gonna lightning bolt the fairies here right now, I don't think. Don't think I need to. Get mountain bolt my Swiss sphere. unfortunate we'll just take one here I'm just going to continue waiting for your name could just draw a dart for this or i can just cannonade away multiple things potentially they went top top geez all right I'm just going to pass Gonna do nothing. Another pyro. See, Manamorphos is, can be pretty bad in this matchup. You don't really want to cast it into removal spells or into counter spells. Yo, Raptor, what's up? League's going well. This is game three. This is the second league of the night. First league was solid, 4 1 dip. Dart, nice. So I can upkeep go for dart. I also don't really think I have to. Just gonna keep waiting. Going ninja here? No. 
I can end of turn dart it. Seems fine. I have double pyro backup. They would need triple counter. Spell stutter sprite. Pyro. I mean, they have been topping a lot of cards. They could triple counter here, but then I could just cannonade as well. Dispel the Pyroblast. Okay. I think I'm just going to Pyro the Spell Thunder again. I could just let this resolve. Untap. Cannonade, like, on their upkeep. I could even draw a land. I think that's fine. Now I'm going to go for upkeep cannonade. I know they could have multiple counter spells now, but I still think this is a fine play. Nice. Now we're probably now I'm probably still gonna go Manamorphos here. Could just play Kill and Pee Manamorphos next turn. It's like a free three damage if this survives somehow. It's unlikely to though. Where's our reckless impulses at? Dart is just so good in this matchup. It's a really key card. Three cards in hand. Some of those could be Fairy Seers or Spell Stutter Sprites. Could just be lands, counter spells, bunch of stuff. Really just want to find Reckless Impulse now. We just, we're we running back Hot Dogs, Mayor Empire. I just saw your message. Same list. Just added a couple of Brute Forces to the sideboard here. Cast Ninja. All right, I think I'm going to end up their turn Cannonade. Just a one for one, that's fine. Counterspell. Okay, it's just lightning bolt. We have one card left, we have zero, we have a dart in the yard, and top deck a kiln fiend. Immediately scred it. Okay, not the worst draw, not the best. We can definitely win these grindy games a lot of times. Really not what we wanted to see. Miss one time. They do miss. Classic Augur, classic. Two mana, one three. Get the top three cards, put them on the bottom in any order. If they go for ninja, I can dart, flashback, dart. Do you get to rebuy this? Which sucks, but definitely gonna try to kill this. Fire eyes, sure. Pyro, interesting. I wonder if I need to pyro this. I really don't want to. They have another ninja, so be it. So they have a fire ice. But a fjord. Love that name, honestly. <laughs> Ice. 
You have a Pyroblast backup too. So you have a counter. Another Reckless Impulse and a Cannonade. I could wait on the Reckless Impulse till next turn to play around Spell Pierce. It's pretty, it's pretty tempting. I think I'm going to. I don't think there's any reason to have to jam. I'll just leave up Cannonade. And they can't even go for Ninja into Cannonade. I can also go end up turn Cannonade plus Dart this. Which I probably do. Maybe not. Maybe Dart's better in the yard. Maybe this was a bad line, but... I think it's fine, honestly. Another Reckless Impulse and a Suspear. Nice. So... I think I just ignore this cannonade and keep playing around spell pierce. Spell stutter spray. Alright, well I'll just dart that to start. I could just start with a cannonade and then maybe they spell pierce it. I lose this at the end of the turn. So yeah, I'll just go for Cannonade. That was kind of a free Cannonade. I think opponent may have misplayed there. I can even go for Dart now. I think I'm going to. Lou's coming in to say goodnight. Hi, bro. Do I go for dart? I could just save the dart for another spell better, which they could easily have. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to just wait. I'm going to just wait. That was a close decision. Not sure. Not sure what's correct there. Really close match we got here, though. No attack from them. Interesting. TBR. I think they should have attacked because they likely can't block the spear counter spell. It's pyro. We still have the dart in the yard to play around to spell better. I really like that we didn't dart there. Seems to have worked out well for us because they could certainly have another spell better. Hydro targeting the reckless impulse. All right. I think there's nothing I can do about that. They could easily have Spell Pierce as well. They showed it already. Don't really want a TBR into Spell Pierce. So I think I won't. I think I just don't need to. Ice that. Definitely want to counter the ice. I mean, I'm getting so much damage on a TBR right now. Maybe I just go. TBR right now, I mean, not, it's not getting better than this. If they spell pierce it, they spell pierce it. So I can dart you down to 13, hit for 12. I think it's better to just hit for 10. I still kill with a bolt. And then I have dart for a spell fetter or a fairy seer. I'm just going to wait. What a game. What a match. It wouldn't have been lethal, though. If I dart there, then I hit them down to 13 and then hit for 12 down to 1. That's not better than just having them at 4 with a dart in the yard, right? Dart in the yard is so annoying for that deck. Hydro. Guess I could have gotten an extra two damage, but I 
I don't know if that's really that relevant. Plus, Dart in the Yard, like I've been saying, is good. So close here, so close. We have two bolts left in the deck, Brainstorm. Reordain, bottom, bottom. Attack and no ninja. Blessing. What a match. Yeah, I could not I could have not played the land. I want to be able to play that another reckless impulse and more spells playing around the spell pierce though. Hold this land, I suppose, but not sure if it's even better. I don't I guess we have seven lands in play already. We're in a rough spot. They have three cards in hand. There's Bolt. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know if it's getting better. I think I go for Bolt then. They have to have something, right? Still gonna do it. Is oh, we could draw another cannonade here. We've drawn two, so we have one left. Five. Okay, let's try this again. It's our last bolt. One time. Got him. <laughs> GG's, what a match, that was sick. What a grind. We drew, we kept up in cards with Blue Red Bay. Jeez, really thought through. I was so patient with the darts and then top deck Bolt Bolt. <laughs> that was a good one, that was a good one. I thought we were gonna lose. I thought they were gonna have it. Morphos, Morphos, Crasher, Dart. Jeez, nice. That was fun. That was fun. Let's go round two. All right. That was really close one against Blue Red Fay. Round two against Evandro Kim. Let's keep this hand. Let's not stop on their upkeep. This hand is solid though. Computer Crossroads. Okay. I see. I see. They're ready for the Sister Gamers. Try and gain life. Boros with Kabira Crossroads. Journey to nowhere. Okay, we're getting wrecked. Okay. We got nothing. I thought it was going to be like Core Skyfish or Replay Crossroads, but looks like it's just Boros. Not going to be easy. But maybe we'll, we'll just be too fast for them with a better draw. And we're just drawing Land Mutagenic Blessing, but we need Threats.
participant. What do we have for this matchup? Maybe Flaring Pain. Maybe Brute Force. Glint Hawk, sure. Boros Garrison, Bounce Crossroads. I mean, we're just getting buried here. Maybe Cannonade, depending on what they have. Maybe even Smash, but it looks like they don't have Artifact Lands in their mana base. Shock us. Just gonna Lightning Bolt now. This is gonna be tough. They likely just have multiple more removal spells and they're just synthing us. There's Ancient End. Makes me want the like Smash and Gorilla Shaman and stuff. It's just too much value, Seeker of the Way. I think Boros is pretty well positioned right now too. Just because you get the white life gain sideboard cards, you can outgrind the red decks. And you can just kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe because you're a pretty lean, aggressive deck, but a better value engine than the red decks. I'm going to try to bolt this. Another Glinthawk right now. Jeez. We're in so much trouble. They have Synth and Golden Egg in hand. I am going to bolt Seeker right now. Just going to have to kill it, so might as well. Okay, nice. Not nice, geez. This, uh, these type of draws happen with this deck. I mean, we've seen 15 cards. We've only seen one out of 12 of our threats. We couldn't protect it, so. Opponent just has a solid draw getting value. I'm just gonna concede, actually. I don't think we can win from here. Could see more cards, but I think this is fine. Maybe one Flaring Pain and all the Smashes and the Gorilla Shaman. Brute Force saves our stuff from... Does this deck play well if you keep a hand with two or three creatures? Yeah, definitely. Those are great hands to keep because then you're often drawing spells. Brute Force actually seems decent. It can, except for, it can't counter a, a Metalcroft Galvalas on Killing Fiend, but it can counter it on the other two creatures and can counter Bolt on all of our creatures. I could like side out Manamorphose, some Battle Rages, one Blessing, and one Dart. Maybe multiple Darts. Maybe Dart's not that good. Doesn't really kill that much. It's just like a double spell. Mutagenic also saves our, most of our stuff from, or all of our stuff from Bolt. Could bring in the second Flaring Pain as well. Over like one blessing because I don't want to pay too much life. I think I like that. I'll try this. Killing their like artifact land just seems so strong. Plus, I can always just smash the smithereens like their synth or their golden egg or something. Seems worth it. All right, I mean, I'm keeping. If I draw a land, this hand is absolutely insane and if i don't then it's a fine hand and plus we have five six including our land old lore cards opponents on the mole that round one against blue red fey was nuts
maybe they're determined they're trying to determine what to put back or if they're even going to keep we don't know they're in the tank though they keep they bought them a card let's start the swiss spirit train land on the first draw step would be again really good the triple swiss spirit draws are crazy crossroads brute force Might as well just keep playing these. Not going to be scared and like hold up brute force or anything. Yeah, this deck seems really, really strong. I think it might be a little bit worse than Burn overall with Sysphere. Um, because decks that play a lot of removal spell interaction, when they stop your combo, you can kind of fizzle where burn you can't really fizzle out um but that being said this deck's obviously really powerful too and has a decent burn matchup so it's hard to say land damn definitely not playing around like a cannonade or anything just going in Yeah, this deck does seem really good. Not going to deny that. Synth, sure. Seeker. They're going to be so enticed just to play that. I can just bolt it, attack for six. Like, you're not going to play your 2 2 prowess life link against me. If they play like a journey instead, that's pretty crazy. I guess they could play a glint hawk right here. Circle of protection red. Wow. That actually may not be enough given this game. I could just like brute force this cool land. Because they're tapped out, I think I want to just play two spells right now. And I am going to use brute force. And I still have double bolt left. They're at one? Oh my god. <laughs> Swiss Spirit, decent card. I'd say it's okay. They go to three, but they can't play spells. We have triple Swiss Spirit too. Cop Red, just too expensive these days, honestly. It's crazy to say it, but it's worse than life gain, I think. Sure, in a lot of situations, it's really good against Kill and Fiend, but this is basically like a burn draw here. Feels bad having this in your deck because it's a bad card, but I think it does have its place. I want to say this game's not over, but it basically is over because we have Bolt, Bolt. They have to deal with both of these, and then they have to deal with all these because they all have three power. No, Griffin, we wanna we definitely wanted to get in damaged while they were tapped out because of cop red. We drew triple swift sphere, triple bolt, brute force, two lands. Alright. They're definitely dead. One mana up, I can just go bolt, bolt, they just concede. Okay. On the draw, game three. I think I want all the smash and all the, br and, and the gorilla shaman still. Just nabbing their synth really slows them down. Killing a land is really good. Might be too much to have four hate cards, but I'm going to try it. Don't want too many TBRs. They have a lot of interaction. Don't want Cannonade. Morpho's kind of awkward. I mean, I'm going to keep this. Not, not a great draw, but... 
two lands, Crasher, a couple draw spells and some interaction. I think it's a keep. And there's a smash. Plus we have Mutagenic to save our Crasher. One draw, two lane, huh? Artifact land? No, not quite. I'm going to crash her. This will really tempt them to just bolt it right now. Mutagenic is so good when it can do that. Zero mana, counter lightning bolt. So good. And then another bolt. That's fine though. Probably just going to lead on impulse rather than Swiss spear. Try to hit a land. Drag, go to 23. Only four cards in hand to our five, though. Our cards are good. Flaring pan. I'm not sure if we actually need that. Go simples. Land. Land one time. I can play the mutagenic next turn. I can go Swiss Spear mutagenic and have that blessing up. Ugh. Don't like that. And we have to play these next turn. Otherwise we lose them. They're at 25. They've gained five from their lands. They're definitely keeping uh, these burn decks into taking these burn decks into account with their deck building choices here. Land, okay. Land, Swiss Spear. I'm going to have to attack. Should probably just start with Crash Through. Bolt. Ask and ye shall receive. Just going to bull right now while they can't save their Seeker. I think that's huge. Also getting to attack for six here, not bad. Basically just counter their land drops. <laughs> I guess not quite yet. They're still at 21. They have so much life gain in their mana base. Jeez. But they only have three cards left. Journey. Top red. Okay, that's going to be a problem, but we got the flaring pain. Did we, do we have both? We do. Nice. It's just, no matter how many times you cop red, it cannot be prevented. I, I suppose I could not even attack here. I'm not going to flurry pain this turn. Maybe the triple smash is too much, but again, I do want to be able to answer the synth. Or we saw one artifact land. We didn't know how many they actually had. So it's always tough with Boros. Like how much, how many artifact lands are they playing? How many targets for artifact hate are they playing? It can be really hard to tell. Galp Blast with zero artifacts in play. Just save it. The Bolivian Ring. Fine. I want to set up a Kiln Fiend plus Flaring Pain anyway. And Flaring Pain does have flashback for the extra spell, which is nice. I think they're safe, but could be sick.
journey. Okay. I wonder if they have like a Glint Hawk or a Core Skyfish that they haven't been able to play yet. More Reckless Impulses would be great. Obviously, Kiln Fiend is pretty much our best draw. Raven, Crack Clue. Can't smash that, unfortunately. Well, now, now I'll be able to, which is nice. If they can cop red the smash, I guess. They're not replaying. Interesting. pass here. Still in trouble. I also thought about a build that's less all in on the combo and it's more like just burn with Kiln Fiend. It could be decent. Like because Kiln Fiend is just such a huge threat. You could even just sideboard it out of burn. Wouldn't be too bad. Starting to get to a point where we're really in trouble, though. Because just killing fiends not going to be enough at this point. Really need like reckless impulse into like double killing fiend or just stuff like that. Killing fiend crasher. And I am getting punished for this smash as well, because I haven't had any targets all game. I do feel good about the flaring pain. That was obviously a good call with cops. Okay, that's what I asked for. Okay. Maybe I find a TBR. I still need it. I have no way to give Trample or get through Thravens if they don't attack. Golden Egg. Okay. That can also be sacrificed, unfortunately. They're not going sack game three right now, right? Are they playing another core skyfisher? Oh, Oblivion Ring. Jeez. Second Oblivion Ring. Wow. Still can't smash the golden egg. If I had blessing there, that would have been pretty sick. They would have had to o ring one of their own permanents. Doubt this is going to be enough. We're at seven. We basically have to win next turn, which is pretty much impossible. Glint Hawk. I only have one artifact right now. Have to do this. They can sack game three. Oh, they're just going cop red on our smash. It's fine. And sack game three. They don't they didn't need to do that. They could just sack. Yeah, they didn't need to to pay for cop red, but it's fine. All right, go ahead and hog down. So we need to draw Reckless Impulse right now into TBR, I think. And they're gonna be at 28, jeez. We don't even have cop red up. Maybe we don't die here somehow? They don't have another lightning bolt? Another golden egg. I thought about playing Boros for the second league, but I wanted to jam hot dogs again. But obviously Boros is a pretty decent uh, choice. 
Yeah, we have we have had a couple of grindy games. Another golden egg. If we somehow win from this position, that's incredible. We go to three, we die to bolt. Another one missionary, go to 32. Bolt. All right, well, I'll keep playing. I'll just, if they just attack with poor skyfisher, I'll just bolt that. Otherwise, I can go bolt this, block these two, take two, go to one. Another golden egg. That's the fourth egg. Garrison. They're at 32. Again, reckless impulse into spell plus TBR, maybe. Okay, so we go bolt this. We can't TBR unless we mana morphose add green, but we sided out mana morphose actually. This this doesn't work. This just prevents damage to them. Oh, my kiln fiend dies, but I don't have a choice. They bolt anyway. I think we have no outs at this point. We don't even have mana morphos in our deck. Just shut them the flaring pain. They say GG well played. Oh, it's close. I felt like I played well and I sideboarded correctly. I just couldn't quite get there. One and one, go round three. All right. Round three, we're against Raptor. Really, uh, really a nice player. Was just hanging out in the stream. Uh, really a uh, prominent member of the Popper community. Really good combo player. We'll see what Raptor is on here. Hmm. I think this hand is good, but it's it doesn't have a threat. So I feel like I should just mulligan. Like I'm hoping to draw into a threat, and if I don't, I do nothing. I'm just gonna ship it. Another one lander, huh? I think I'm supposed to keep this on six. Swamp, huh? Interesting. Just gonna attack for one. Not gonna worry about the one extra damage here. Raptor's also a very fast player. Oh, it's Cyclostorm, okay. Well, would have rather gone for the damage. Didn't know what they were on though, but combo deck is to be expected. Morphos. Reckless Impulse. Nice, we can hit for a ton of damage next turn. Don't think we have lethal, but I can go Swiss Spear, Bolt, Dart, Flashback, Dart. It's a lot of damage. Probably gonna do that just, oh wow. I can Dart that. Prismet, I have seen Raptor play that card. Seems really bad, but I don't know. Maybe they need it. Just gonna get in for as much as I can. Just don't want them to be able to use multiple street raids, basically. 
And now I still have lethal next turn. I didn't need to play the kill and fiend. I would rather just give them less life total to work with here. They could go healer, go off, gain a bunch of life. They go to one. Like I said, Raptor, really, really competent player, really strong player here. Petal, Petal, Reaping. Two cards in hand. Reaping for five. So now they could play Healer and then start cycling again. That's what they have to do. They're cycling Healer. They don't think they need to cycle, play Healer. They're just going to try to win this turn, I see. And just stay at one and never use Street Wraith. And they concede. Why didn't Raptor go let Reaping resolve? They had a bunch of mana. Then go play Healer. I guess then they could have only gone like play Healer, cycle, cycle, go to three, and then they probably die anyway. So they were trying to win. I see, I see. I think I'm going to sideboard the same way I did last time. Again, Cycle Storm, Flaring Pain, Flaring Pain, Pyro. I could have like Brute Force over Reckless Impulse. Actually seems kind of good. You could even have another Pyro and just be like a faster no card draw combo deck. I like it. Just go for the giant growth here. JLB, see ya. All right, we'll keep this. We got a Swiss Spear, we got lands, we got cantrips. Who's the cantrip deck now? I love playing against Raptor because he plays so fast. But he does usually play good combo decks and beats me a lot, so maybe I don't love it for that reason. Play Ash Barons, interesting. Cycle Ash Burns get swamped. Five cards in hand. Pyroblast. I'm still just going to start cycling everything. Could hit like a Kill and Fiend or something that I want to deploy. Flaring Pain. That's interesting. I think I go dart you back for five. They're down to 11. Maybe I could kill next turn. Unlikely without them cycling any street wraiths. Oh, you just arrived, JLB. <laughs> I thought you were saying like good night, like bye. Um, that's funny. Let's just go for it, shall we? They're at eleven. I have the flaring pain. Try to leave it up if possible. So this is four. I'm not gonna have enough, right? go bolt you put you to eight I have five power flaring pain six power flashback dart that's lethal just go for it and I don't get to leave up pyro for hydroblast though
Do they have hydro? They easily could. But I don't get to represent lethal here, so then they could just go off next turn. Do I play around darkness or hydro? Because if I just dart you down to seven, it's not lethal. Man, it's so close. I'm just going to go. No hydro one time. They say GG's. I said, wasn't sure. <laughs> Raptor says, needed no flaring pain. Oh, they said they guess they have one out. Uh, I was going to say, I already said, they said, uh, no. Never mind, one mana short. Seems like a tough matchup for Cycle Storm because we can just goldfish so fast. They have to go for the combo. Yeah, they said game one they missed on songs, and this game did not have a cyborg card. Yeah. Seems like a good matchup for um, uh, hot dogs or burn or whatever. Just like Swiss Fear decks with super fast wins, especially this deck. So, yeah, it seems pretty solid. Two and one, let's go round four. All right, welcome to round four. We're against Parallax. Um, I used to play against Parallax a ton. He used to always play Tron, but now, um, like last time I played them, they were on burn. They play a ton of familiars, so who knows? Uh, this hand's not that good, but I think I'm going to keep it. Wouldn't be surprised if... Okay, blue. Interesting. So it just might just be fans again. Probably shouldn't F6 here, but I'm going to. We just need any spell for turn 3 win here if they don't have anything. Planes. Wow. Faithful. Interesting. Okay. Looking good here. Red, red spell. Not one that we can actually cast, but if I bolt them down to 17, see, I think I just go TBR, attack, see if they chump. He's got a chump, right? Okay. They're at one. Chancery, Snap, Kiln Fiend. Three mana, Seagate Oracle. Mana Morphos. They're not playing anything. Sleet on Morphos. Prohibit. Interesting. Just play Kiln Fiend then. Flash of Defiance. Sorcery for 1R. Green and white creatures can't block this turn. Flashback. Seems pretty narrow though. Man, it's kind of unfortunate that I can't even attack with Sospear. Don't have any more spells.
Now they can start gaining life too. Jeez. Only three cards. Okay. Crash through. And there's Dart. My creatures have Trample as well. Ghostly Flicker, Land, plus Moedy to try to survive. It's unlikely to be enough. Alright, we got him. Let's go game two. Let's get the Pyros. Honestly, maybe a Flaring Pain. I know Parallax has played a Strands in the past. But I'm not sure. We want to be as lean as possible. If I see Strands, maybe I'll bring in one Flaring Pain for game three. But I think I'm going to not bring it in right now. Could take out take out just like Morphos. It's awkward against counter spells. Harder to leave up interaction and play Morphos. I think I do want Reckless Impulse in this matchup. They can grind pretty reasonably. I think I want all the TBRs. They're gonna have a bunch of hydros. I could go down like one TBR. Um Kind of just going with stuff here. We want one flaring pain. Mutagenic's also pretty bad, right? It does just help me kill quick though. I don't want to let them stabilize. Felt kind of lucky to win that. This has got to be a mulligan. I keep seven. I'll keep this. Put back a land. I think I lead on turn one crash through here. Not sure though. Mutagenic's just so bad against Hydro specifically. They're just passing with two mana up. I'm gonna just do nothing. Just don't want to get prohibited here quite yet. Just gonna wait again. They definitely have prohibit, like no question. Especially now that they're playing preordain. I think I'd rather resolve Reckless Impulse, actually. Mm, maybe not. It's like the easiest prohibit call I've ever seen. Tapping out for Divination, wow. And then preordain. Okay, we get to resolve some good stuff here. Gonna play this mountain. Oh wow. Got punished for I mean I guess I would have lost out on it anyway. It's a really bad impulse though. Nothing we can do about that. That resolve. I think we're gonna lose this game here. Just didn't draw well enough. Get back preordained or snap? Preordained. I guess they could have gotten back prohibited as well. I just thought it was unlikely. I feel like they probably have hydro.
At least we hit another crasher there. They snap. They don't have white mana yet, maybe at all. Molly D. Okay. Guess we could still win if they just never have white. There it is. I feel like it's going to be essentially impossible here. Yeah, Mutagenic is just bad. I guess I should have cited that out. Okay. That helps. Wonder if I just kill Molly D right now. I don't think so. I think I just wait. Okay. Let's just go in. TBR plus Pyro, triple mutagenic. It's not getting better for us. They're at 21. So each one is plus four, plus 12, 13, 14, 15, double strike. I think I'm fine to just go in. What if I go like, what if I split it somehow? And go like one mutagenic on this one to save it and then mutagenic on this one and then TBR something. Not gonna overthink it. Just gonna go. They have seven cards in hand. I feel like this is really unlikely to work. I guess I could just try to let damage happen here. If it happens, it's really good for me. If not, if they go for anything, then I can go for TBR. Guess I have to do that. I'm just not gonna win if I just go for stuff. I do have strands. Dwayne Pain definitely coming in. Okay. Just gonna do nothing here. Faithful, so they could flash back strands. We don't have flaring pain. Just gonna have to try to force them to use strands somehow. I feel like they're going to use it right now. Yeah, I think I think they had to there. And then I can just go for another attack next turn. And I have Pyroblast, so... Maybe. Discard is lose focus because we have so many lands. They're at 22, but I have double TBR. A pyro backup. There's a bolt. Okay. Going for it. I have another mutagenic somehow. Hydro. Hydra on that Kiln Fiend. Just yield to Faithful, get it out of the way, counter this. Another Hydro. Another Hydro there, sure. TBR here. This is 14 damage. I 
don't really want to bolt right now. I could just hit for 14. Try to hit again next turn. Because if I go TBR plus bolt, it's I go up to 11, that's 22 damage, so it is lethal. But they have to have nothing. No snap, no counter, nothing. I think I'm just going to go for it, actually. I don't think it's getting much better for me. Damn. They had it. So now they just get back Hydro, kill this, and then Infinite get back Hydro. All right, that's enough. I went for it, and I had it. I could have tried to play around it. By just doing nothing, hitting for 14. And I don't think I was winning that game if I took that other line, though. So. Maybe I just keep Mutagenic on the play. Even though it wasn't that good there. Again, it does help me with my turn threes. Which is really where I want to be. Maybe bring in TBR again. They just have so many Hydros. Play TBR, cut like a couple mutagenics. Just do a one for one swap. That draw wasn't that good for us. Alright, so snap keep. Swiss for gaming. Talked about that a little bit, EMP. Um, it's just that Ancestral Anger has to target your own creature, so it's uh, easy to get blown out by removal spells where you don't draw a card off Ancestral Anger. And I don't like to be put in that position where I have to try to target my own creature. It just seems so sketchy most of the time. They have to have like snap or hydro or something here. I think I'm gonna go land, attack for two, play crasher, do nothing else. I could just lava dart right now, but I can just do it next turn. Make a prohibit, sure. Reordain. We have a Kiln Fiend in play, so good place to be. Bottom, bottom, play land, pass the turn. TBR. Maybe I TBR right now to play around Spell Pierce. I think I like it. Resolves. Means they probably have snap or something else. Just gotta get in for damage here. I mean, I guess I could just hit for 10, put them to 6, and then if they play snap on Kiln Fiend, I can replay Kiln Fiend this way. Otherwise, I can't replay Kiln Fiend if they snap it. Yeah, Crash Through also does give Raptor a good point. Multiple things trample, which is good. This is hitting for 10 down to 6 right now. I'm just going to let that happen. I mean, I have five points of burn in hand and a Swiss Spear. Last breath, my Swiss Spear. I think I just Lava Dart them right now. Could also just Bolt them. I think I just Dart you.
they're at five, but I, okay, they hydro that, that's fine. Need one more point of burn somewhere. Another dart, nice. Got him. Seems kind of close, but seems like it's tough for them to deal with our good draws. If they stabilize, obviously we can never come back, but it just seems hard from a blue-white deck to deal with hot dogs, kind of. Sure, they need a lot of hydros, but they also need to draw them. They don't have that much good removal, just being in blue-white and popper. There's no good white removal spells. There's Hydro Blast, and that's about it. Sweet. Three and one. Let's see if we can back-to-back uh, 4-1 -back with the deck. See everyone for round five. Welcome to the fifth and final round. We're on the draw. I think we keep this. Hey, hey, boss says, hello. I am practically retired because I hate the meta. They said, please tell me no hot dogs. I said, ah. I said, we are Swiss for your gaming, sorry. And we drew the land for the Kill and Fiend. Apus usually plays um, crazy combo decks. This looks like just walls combo. Okay, Dart is going to be insane. I'm gonna go land. Attack. They're probably not gonna block, and then I'm just gonna play Chill and Fiend. I can't deal with like overgrown battlement or anything. I do want to dart this. Maybe I am misplaying here. Maybe I should be going dart crash through this turn. But I think I'd rather just play Kill and Fiend. And then just try to go like Apostles, Blessing, Mutagenic, Mutagenic, Dart, Dart, kill you. Apa says bold move. <laughs> See if they kill us here. We still might be able to kill them unless they go infinite. They just play like a dino. I think we can beat that. Uh oh. Looks like they have the combo. We should have killed the Corian Ranger. Looks like we're dead. They need a payoff. I guess I could have gone crash through dart. I just felt like setting up for the turn three was the way to go. All right, so I think that's lethal. They got us. They had the combo. I think we want pyros. I mean, I messed that up, but it was the decision I made. I knew they could have comboed, but Sometimes you got to just make them have it. I don't know if that was the right time to do that. Maybe not, because I could have just darted, attack for three, played Killed Fiend next turn, but I don't know. I didn't have an answer to the Battleman, just the Ranger. I wasn't sure. I guess I could have killed the Leaf Caller. Leaf Caller just seems like so unimportant. I don't usually kill it. Maybe I don't need Reckless Impulse in this matchup. 
It's just too fast. It's just all about who combos first. Don't think I need flaring pain. I don't think I need anything else. Just bring in the hydros or the pyros for reckless impulse here. I'm just so used to saying hydro. This has to be a mulligan. No threat. I think I'm supposed to keep this. Get back the blessing. Okay, nice. We hit a land so we can do stuff. There's Sentinel. It's fine. I'm going to still play Crasher here. They have to have Hydros too, right? Maybe that's a reason to kill Sentinel. I feel like they could have Hydro. Actually, I'll add red green. It could give away what we're doing, but I don't have to pay life potentially. Just gonna go dart this right now. We'll see what happens. I assume this is gonna get hydroed. Black mana. Cast down? Diabolic Edict. Okay. Battleman, we got it. Four cards in hand. There's Kiln Fiend. Right, let's attack. And then just play Kiln Fiend Pass. Could just bolt this. Can also go lightning bolt this plus lava dart. Don't think I have to yet though. This takes them off a of multicolor source. All right, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, they have no blue source. Axe Bane. Okay. Red, red. There's mountain. Doesn't do anything. I guess I can hold the mountain, but I don't think there's a reason to. I guess I kind of want them to block. I'll just go to combat. Or can I do I have lethal if I go spell fell? Each spell is plus five, that's ten. Eleven, twelve, plus seven. Oh, so that is lethal. Mutagenic here. Yeah, and then dart. Okay. Hot dogs is good enough there. Game two. Maybe I could have had game one. May have just thrown. But we can still win game three here for sure. We got the pyros. Break up the combo. I think I'm fine as is. Keep this kind of slow, but I feel like it's good enough. Turn one sentinel again, huh? Wonder if we even want to play this crasher on two. I guess if they have blue mana up, I guess they can diabolic edict anyway. Mm, kind of getting wrecked here. Then we have two cards left though. Just gonna play Crasher. Okay, now I'm gonna play Killing Fiend. 
Good slow roll the, the fiend, but I think I want to just go in. My hand is good, so I could potentially win next turn. Morpho's Blessing Battle Rage is a win. And I'm going to untap with Blessing. Okay, well, now I think I have the win plus protection. So I just go Morphos. Guess just red, red. I can pay life on these. It doesn't matter. Red, red. TBR here, and then I have Mutagenic and either Blessing or Pyroblast up. I'm going for it, though. They can likely only have one piece. Of, I guess they can have Diabolic Edict here, but there's nothing I can do about that. Just hope they don't have it. Oh crap. Wait, I guess this is still this is still lethal if I do this. I oh, know it's yeah, 24 damage. I have blessing or pyro up, but not playing around edict. Red mana. Oh, deal two damage to target creature, it's blocking. <laughs> Um, okay, so I can just blessing that. <laughs> I forgot about Tinderwall ability. Probably like everyone does. So I have to pro green. And then they need a green spell to survive. Moments peace. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Another battlement, two cards left. Let's go land. Back with Fiend. Do I bolt this Sentinel right now? I think no. I want to save my spells for next turn and I have two preachers. Seems good. And Diabolic Edict. Wow, they have all the hate here. Tinderwall, Moments Peace, Edict. And they, they even still have the Moments Peace flashback they could do. I don't really have much else going on though. I wonder if I was supposed to play Crasher earlier and not go in as much. Maybe. Tough to say. They can flashback moments piece like whenever they want. I guess I have to bolt Overgrown Battlement if I want to kill it. Maybe taking them off a multicolor source is better though. It's pretty close. They already have a lot of mana, even if I kill this battlement here with bolt. If I bolt this, then they just moments piece, but that's fine. I just bolt this. I guess there's no real reason to do this, right? Because could have just let them block. But I feel like I could have maybe won this game. I might be slightly misplaying. Pulsa Marasa back. Just pair of Sentinel, zero cards in hand. Okay. Still moments piece in the yard. At 
lead the stampede was worst case scenario. God, what a what a draw. Hit five creatures. Nothing that really matters, I don't think. Except they have moments piece. We're losing now. They went Sentinel, Axe Bane, Guardian, and they have these three cards in hand. They actually cannot pay for Moments Piece right now. Probably just going to take one. Yeah. Really need. Oh, we sat it out, Reckless. Oh no. We still have Apostles Blessing in our deck, though. We have one Reckless left. Lightning Bolt. I know they can Moments Piece at any time, but forcing them to use it is pretty reasonable. I think I'm going to use this Pyro right now just to kill both of these Overgrowns. And then they, then they have the Moments piece. Seems worth it to me. So now they Moments piece most likely. just so funny like moments i guess they have uh, the other draw spell to bin moments piece but whenever i play that deck i always hit my moments pieces off the lead the stampede so you don't get to draw it ranger so their hand is a leaf color leaf color we're top decking it's a good draw Cause I add green red. I add green white. And still win this game for sure. Every block is one battlement. Interesting choice. I say, just don't want to see another draw spell, basically. Mountain. Can't really attack now. I'll just pass. I want to hold them the land because they could attack if I don't. And this way they can't really attack because they, I could have a spell that I could play. Pump my team. There's one leaf color. They already have tons of multicolor mana, though. Okay, infinite mana. Add black mana. They just have drift for the win. Drift for drift for drift into reaping the graves. I think that's game. Yeah. And then they just drift, get back all three drifts, and then they can easily win from here. It's a really good matchup for us, I think, but they drew all their hate at the right time, and they stopped us. Good games. We had to fight through like a moment's piece, a, a diabolic edict, plus their blockers. They have two more drifts in hand with infinite mana. GG's. Obviously, you'd take this matchup any time, but I guess you can still lose. I wonder if my mistake there was 
the turn I went for it, then uh, I think they had the moments piece, but I could have played another crasher that turn and not gone for not gone for it. I don't know. I mean, they had edict plus moments piece. It was, it's a lot of hate that they had in hand. Those are good hate cards against us. I think the deck is still really strong. I think it's one of the best decks. I think it's on everybody's radar. I mean, what, we were just 7-3 over two leagues. Deck is really strong. Um, obviously not the best result ever, but we were really close to double 4-1 there. Um, it, I, think, I think the deck is good. Reckless Impulse did seem pretty clunky, but I still don't like Faithless Looting, I don't believe. Maybe there's a build without it, but I feel like it's good at helping you grind. There were so many situations in the league, in both these leagues that I played tonight, where I was thinking, okay, I just need to draw Reckless Impulse now. I just want to draw Reckless Impulse so many times. So anytime you get into a slight grind where opponent kind of stops you or interacts, Reckless Impulse in your deck is so good. I think the Brute Forces are good too, especially with so much burn in the meta. If there wasn't so much, I wouldn't necessarily have these, but I like Cannonade over the uh, Martyr. I think that's better. I think reducing the amount of Affinity hate. I think just Affinity is not getting played as much right now. Probably struggles against burn and Hot Dogs, so maybe you just don't need as much Affinity hate at all, as all, at all and you can play other cards, but this deck doesn't have the best sideboard, so there's that. Could play like a fourth pyroblast even uh it seems seems pretty good in certain matchups but that'll wrap up this youtube video thank you everyone so much for watching had a great time as usual subscribe to the youtube channel youtube.com slash thanks so much till next time peace